And we begin with breaking news at 9, the tragic end of the search for a missing Simi Valley woman, Rachel, Rachel Castillo. She was last seen by her roommate, her sister, on Thursday. Investigators say when they were called, they found a lot of blood in Castillo's apartment. And tonight, investigators confirmed they have found her body and they've made an arrest. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live in Simi Valley tonight with the latest developments. Well, Christine, here at the apartment complex where Rachel Castillo lived, they can start to take down all of these missing posters that they put up everywhere now that they have the devastating answer to her disappearance. Earlier this evening, some of her friends went to her church, but sadly, their prayers for her safe return were not answered. Sadly, it was already too late by the time Rachel Castillo's church family came together Sunday with anxious song and prayer. God, we need answers. We need anything that will find us, information that will lead us to Rachel. Their pleas filled with equal parts hope and dread as they faced a fourth night with the 25-year-old mother of two still missing. We miss you. We love you. Just know that... Um, we want you to come home and you are so, so loved. And if you can hear this, just know that um, we're surrounding you with love. Moments after the prayer service, police announced they'd found her remains in a remote desert spot in the Antelope Valley and arrested her ex-husband, 25-year-old Hawthorne resident, Zarbab Ali. Castillo's sister told police she returned Thursday night to the Wood Ranch apartment they share and Rachel was gone. But her keys, phone and car were still there, along, police say, with evidence of a struggle. Terrifying signs of the kind of trouble those who knew her feared and that in the end were confirmed. Just let her go and bring her back, you know, to her family. She has two little boys. She's only 25. Just, you know, whatever the anger is that you're holding in, just you just got to let it go and let her come home. Neighbor Frank Avila didn't know Castillo, but after hearing the news, says his family is thinking of hers. Well, I'm already thinking about maybe going buy some flowers and just leave it at the apartment. I don't know if they need anything, but. Now, Castillo's family told us that she and her ex-husband shared custody of their two children, ages two and five, and that he'd come here on Thursday morning to pick them up. In Wood Ranch, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. Thanks, Lori. Such a tough, tough, tough outcome.